you don't want to get involved with the Shinsengami. They're as unpredictable as wild animals. And they've been particularly vicious as of late. It's better to stay well away. Don't worry, we'll watch ourselves. Thanks so much. So far we've heard they're like wild animals and the children are too afraid to cry in front of them. Do we really want to meet them? Of course they're scary. They're keeping the peace in a capital city during the civil war. Gotta crack down on crime. But you can't stop times changing. They may have been hardliners, but they were honorable and they never gave up on their ideals. Like us in football. One thing's for sure, they've got a strong idea of justice. Different to ours, maybe, but it's still justice. That's an interesting way of putting it. Anyway, would we know Soji Okita even if he came walking right up to us? I've no idea what he looks like. Easy, we're looking for a good looking man. Yeah, but I think we need more to go on than that. I refuse to believe in a Soji Okita who isn't attractive. And that's that! Right, let's start looking for the Shinsengami headquarters. Yeah, that's not the most descriptive, but with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toe, so welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 of Chrono Stones Thunder Flash. In the last episode, we arrived in the Shinsengami era, and Arian's group split off to go and meet Ryoma Sakamoto which they did remarkably easily, so hopefully there's a little bit more of a challenge involved in meeting Soji Okita, but that is of course our main objective while we band off into Victor's side of the squad. It's good to separate the group into two halves for a bit, give each of those characters a little bit of spotlight, um, but of course I need to make sure a certain one is in the spotlight at all times. Excuse me, uh, goodbye Itor, and hello Bylong, that's more like it. Now, something else that needs a bit of spotlight, actually, is this parallel stone. Because I somewhat need to change my statement that I mentioned a few episodes ago. Where I said that I would be ignoring all parallel stones that I come across for the sake of its own dedicated video coming towards the end of the series. And in uh, upon further research on the Inazuma 11 wiki, the main reason I was avoiding them in my plans was because I know there's version exclusive parallel stones, but actually the version exclusive ones don't crop up until the post game, so there isn't a great deal of reason to avoid them now. So I'll be I'll be uh, clicking on them if I happen to pass by one. I won't go out of my way to uh, go through all of the parallel stones that are already available in older areas though because that's at least some kind of surprise we can save for the dedicated video, but yeah, I don't think I could have let myself live with skipping all of those parallel stones all the time. Ah, I recognise that uniform. It's them. It's the real live Shinsengami in the flesh. Have a witness to Ryoma Sakamoto's whereabouts. Then let's stop dithering around here and get back to headquarters to tell the commander. Headquarters? Let's follow them back. And that we will, Faerun. We must not be too far from the headquarters already on this western, well, eastern side of the town, actually. Let's um, learn about the Master Swordsman. We are looking for a Master Swordsman, just probably not the one that you've described. And already we're seeing members of the Shinsengami uh, running pal pack societies. I, I don't think that was really what they did historically, but that's fine, I guess. Here we are, the Shinsengami headquarters. It looks quite normal to me. I was expecting something fancier. Okay, so now what? Do we sneak in? Hmm, that seems kind of risky. Better take, it, take a look around first. Commander, Sakamoto has been seen in a restaurant by the riverside. Men, let's go. So, this is the Shinsengami's hangout. Kind of grim, don't you think? Have you never heard of color? <sighs> Who is this? Mode. What is the me- ah! Commander, what have you done? <laughs> Oh, what's happening? 
I'm Isami Kondo, the commander of the Shinsengami. You are my subordinates. You got that? Yes, sir. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. While Ryoma Sakamoto is still standing, I have to finish him. <coughs> oh, look, I missed one. Who are you? Me? I'm Commander Kondo. Don't you recognize me? Is this a game? What have you done with the Commander? What did you just try to do to me? Are you a sorcerer? Well, that was unexpected. You're a tough one. What's your name? Soji Okita, captain of the first unit of the Sinsengami. Okita? <laughs> that explains a lot. Oh, this is gonna be fun. What do you... <coughs> You're not gonna get far in that state. Mm. How do you feel? My chest. The pain is gone. And I feel... healthy. That's what you wanted, right? What are you talking about? If you do what I say, I'll show you strength beyond your wildest dreams. Strength? What do you say? What would you have me do? I want you to face Ryoma Sakamoto in battle. What? No one's come out at all, let alone Soji Okita. We can't just wait around here forever. I told you, Okita's ill at this point in history. He's probably not going to spend his time running around outside. Ugh, then we have no choice, do we? We're have to going to look for him inside. Captain Okita, wait! I'm not. He really is good looking. Didn't I tell you? In your face, Ito! Please, Captain, you really shouldn't be out here. I'll be the judge of that. Now, what's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Ryoma Sakamoto was spotted at a riverside restaurant in the city. What? Then I'm heading there this instant! Don't let him get away! He's pretty fast for someone who's supposed to be ill. Yes, indeed, he got hit by the big uh, Zanark I'm a fire in my laser beam. A funny story about the laser beam. Yeah, I mean, that's just something that Zanark can do for starters. He has magical healing properties from his hands. Imagine if he was a good guy. He'd be, he'd be pretty serviceable if that was the case. He could heal <laughs> probably any illness going if he can sort out Okita's tuberculosis. But, um, yeah, in the anime, he actually shoots those laser beams out of his eyes. Just, just because he can, I, I suppose. So this is where Sakamoto was seen. I'm going to leisurely pace my way in and enter as gently and quietly as possible before then probably trying to slay the man. You could almost call it love poetry. Right, let's head in and make sure he doesn't kill anyone. Did I miss him? He can't have gone far. I'll hunt him down. This doesn't look good. We should follow. We might end up meeting each other. 
We could kill two birds with one stone. Easy peasy. More like they'd kill each other. They're deadly enemies, remember? Which means we need to hurry up. Get ready. Oh. Good kick. You're a natural. I got it. You're really getting the hang of this. Ha. Huh. Do you think I'm more nimble than I look? Roma seems to be enjoying himself. Roma and Roma both. Thank you for letting me play. Is football very popular in your time? Yeah, it's probably the most popular sport in the world. There are world tournaments and everything. World tournaments! All the people of the world brought together! That's exactly what I'm trying to do! Now might be a good time to pop the question, as it were. Ryoma, we'd like to try a Miximax. A Mikishima? Go ahead! This means a huge amount to us, really. Why didn't it work this time? Roma isn't up to it yet. Aren't I? Not yet. If you try to pour a lot of water into a small bowl, the water just spills over the top, wasted. So, Roma's a bowl. Ugh. I bet it's because my heart isn't as wide as the sea, isn't it? I'm definitely sure your heart is wide enough, Roma. Not that we know how wide it's meant to be, but yes, I'm sure it's fine. Ugh, then what's the problem? Victor! Just in the nick of time. What just happened? I'm Soji Okita, the captain of the first unit of the Shinsengami! Prepare to die! That's Soji Okita? Look, I'm sure if we just sat down and talked about this over a cup of my new coffee... No! I've come to... That ain't the deal, Mr. Okita. I gave you back your health so you could defeat him in a football battle, not gut him like a fish. Zanok! Again! You gave him back his health. Well, that explains a lot. What are you wearing that uniform for? Looks good on me, right? Truth is, I thought I'd commandeer the commander here for fun. Say hello to Isami Kondo. W what? Zanark, I have one question for you. What exactly happened during the match with Liu Bei and the others? I knew you'd say that. I bet it's eating you up inside, isn't it? Too bad it's none of your business. Hmm. So, who's up for a football battle? Let's get this party started. If we win, you hand over Sakamoto. You'll hand me over? What makes you think I'm not playing too? Yeah, double the Riomas, double the football. Do we have to play a football battle against Soji Okita? This isn't going to end well. I don't suppose we could mix him acts with him. I rather doubt we could, given the circumstances. But at the very least, we have to try and defeat him in a football battle. 
And this actually is deceptively difficult. Because first of all, it's a five-a-side match where you need to have Sakamoto in your squad. So um, I think it's going to be Goldie making a leave of absence here. Faye, we will swap you out for Bylong because of course we will. And I need to make sure he's right at the front. So Ryoma Sakamoto is a midfielder, but he doesn't actually have any moves. Stats-wise, he's relatively okay. But, I mean, I'm going to try and involve him a little bit, but there's only so much you can do. Whereas there's actually plenty you can do with your own characters, and I'm not being funny right, but you cannot hold back in this fight at all. Hey! Wow, he's fast! This is the first time I've ever kicked a ball, and yet it feels almost natural. I suppose this is Xanax power at work. Hey, Okudra, you're not bad at this! Don't think you can flatter your way out of your execution! Well, first of all, he's actually going to take a shot, and fair enough, Okita doesn't have any moves. I'm still going to go for a jumping whack or something just to make absolute sure, because, yeah, 70 power thanks to the Xanak boost. That's not all that bad. But once the ball returns into my possession, I wish I was joking here, but wait, is Bylong out of stamina? Oh no, how did this happen? I specifically subbed him into the team for this exact purpose and now he's already nearly out of stamina this is really bad but the reason i'm mixy maxing and using a fighting spirit with bylong is the fact that the goalkeeper is going to bring out this particular fighting spirit gigante and it's super strong like even using victor or bylong a fighting spirit shot often isn't enough to bypass this guy. And especially if you just do regular kicks towards the goal, that's very bad if you buy long. You honestly need to bring out a fighting spirit and Miximax to overpower this guy. It's kind of absurd. But I'm going to use Chuga Liang's White Breath just to make absolute sure. It's 722 power right now. See how close it comes to getting stopped. Heck, maybe it will get stopped. But even when you run down this guy's FSP gauge, he still armor flies as well. So it takes some real work and you can't hold back. Much as it would be nice to involve Ryoma and Okita, you would just lose. Like, I have lost this battle plenty of times in practice runs in my original playthrough. It's uh, just a tad embarrassing. What's wrong? A little football too much for you? You... you were testing me. Something like that. I can't say I was disappointed. Hey, is football just a game to you? Ha, see ya. If he's really taken over the Shinsengumi, we're all in trouble. Mm. I hate to be rude, but I have to go. I have things to do. Thanks for the football. Did he really just leave? Uh, <coughs> Okita, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I can't believe you played football in that state. Xanak's power let him exceed his limits, and now he's feeling the consequences. Oh, that's just not on. Hmm. Why would you push yourself so hard? I don't have long left. If Sakamoto is allowed to continue unchecked, he'll tear down the government. The Shinsengumi were created to preserve the government and protect the Shogun's rule. And to do that, Sakamoto must be stopped. You. You remind me of someone. 